Hi guys, Dillo304 here, and today I'm going to have a new video up for you guys, obviously. So this video is going to be on upgrading the Dell Optiplex GX620 yet again. Now, YouTube user yelnum 2 manly or I guess he prefers to be called now Manly Evangelista, which is his name, but he changed his name on YouTube, so that's why. But he sent me some RAM right here, some computer RAM for, well, of course, computer RAM. What else RAM? Uh, <laughs> Uh, but he sent me some RAM for my Dell Optiplex GX620. Should be two 512 sticks. I have this has a total of two and a half gigs right now. It has two one gigs and then two 256s. So if I replace the 256s with 512s, I'll have three gigs of RAM, which is a uh, which is a small upgrade, but it is better because the um, what call it the 256 uh, chips are slower than the one gig. So I guess they're being throttled back at this moment but that won't happen anymore with this. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the RAM right now uh, really quick and then uh, we'll I have to move the monitor. The Optiplex GX620 as you can see is now on top of my desk. I didn't do a video about it, I just felt lazy lately and I didn't really think it was that important so yeah. But we're going to do it now and uh, yeah so hold on just a minute. I can't really talk or think while I'm doing this. Hold on. Doodle -doodle -doodle. Ooh, I see a CD drive as well. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So it looks like he's. Oh, it's a second hard drive adapter for a Dell Attitude D series. So I can use this with my uh, my uh, E. Ah oh, crap! My camera's dead. I can use this with my D six hundred. Let me go ahead and plug my camera in real quick. I'm uh, wasting valuable video time, but we can either waste valuable video time or have it die, so you guys can choose. Just hold on. Sorry. Ugh, I really should just stop the video and, um, whatchamacallit. I really should just, oh, sorry. I really should just stop the video and start it again, but, um, no. I'm not gonna edit this video. Such a lazy. There we go, the camera's not plugged in, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, back to the video. Uh, so yeah, second hard drive adapter, I can use this with my D600. Pretty sweet. Thank you. That was pretty sweet. He sent this, he sent these things to me at no cost, by the way. So, yeah. That's more bubble wrap. Oh wow, we have more than two sticks here, I can tell. And we got an anti-static bag. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he sent me four. So he sent me two 512s and two 256s. These are different. Um, this is DDR. This is DDR 400. So I can use this in my. Uh, wait, I can't really use this right now. But I, I have a I have DDR 400 computer, so that's pretty sweet uh, that he sent those along along with the HDD adapter for free. So that was really awesome. But this is the main. All right, this is DDR2, so we're going to go ahead and put it in the computer now. This video is probably going to be kind of long. Let me just shut it, shut it down. And then I got to move the E6400 out of the way so I can move the monitor over so I can upgrade the computer. All right. Monitor's uh, gone out of the setup. Move the camera around. <laughs> okay. Now this computer is pretty compact, which I like. Um, here, let me reach my arm in for a minute. Sorry, guys. Okay. So there's the cover, unveiling the computer parts. I'm gonna shine my lamp on it. There we go. That's better. I don't want to destroy my desk, but that's more light, which is cool. We got this nice heavy magnesium, I believe, uh, Dell side panel. So that's cool. Then when we remove that. I guess I have to move the camera again, or like move the camera around. Take it off the tripod really quick here. There's the memory right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it now. You guys, this video is not gonna be very exciting. Sorry, but I'll try to do the best I can to point it at memory. Uh, that will have to be good enough. So let me move this SATA cable out of the way, or SATA, however you want to say it. It's an acronym. <laughs> So, uh, okay, that's a 1 gig, that's a 1 gig, so this is the 256. Oh, I have to remove the drives as well. 
remove the the semi uh, slim CD drive there. Remove the floppy, which is really easy to do, by the way. Dell had a good design when they were designing all this crap. So there we go. Now we have full access to the RAM right there. Here, let me loosen this up a little. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, guys. This video sucks, I know. But, uh, yeah. There we go. So, uh, yes, it is dual channel, but these are running at a slower speed. These are running at 533. So we're going to remove those. These were probably original to the computer. This is Nania memory, 4200, so it's 256, so it's crappy. Um, so let me remove the other one. It's very hot as well. I probably should be wearing an anti-static wrist strap. But since I don't know where the hell it is, I guess I'm just going to take, take the chance because I could care less. Uh, so yeah, that's DDR400, so that won't work. Let's go ahead and in a in, in, in the slot. There's one clip. There's two clips. Install the other one. So this will be running at... Uh, this is 5300, so yes, it will be. It will all be running at 60, 667 megahertz. So, even though it's not that much of a RAM memory upgrade, like total memory, but it'll be, it'll be faster memory too. So, yeah, it won't throttle back the speed anymore, which is cool. So that'll be sweet. So I expect to see some performance improvement from this, which will be cool. There we go, and it's as simple as that. I'm going to fold the SATA cable back up where it goes. Um, so yeah. So I guess I can go ahead and take a quick tour around the system. Because you guys never have seen the inside. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we have the drives right there which are really easy to remove, which is pretty sweet. We have the CPU under there. Uh, we have slots over there. We have a PCI Express slot right there. We have a PCI slot right there. I was thinking about getting a camera or a video uh, card upgrade for this thing, but I don't really know. I don't really, bleh, bleh, sorry. I don't really need that. And then we have a white label, um, 40 gigabyte, 7200 RPM SATA hard drive. I know the, I know, I know you probably wouldn't recommend these because uh, white label basically means the drive is broken and they fixed it. But I'm not sure what shape uh, this. I'm not sure what brand this drive might be. Maybe you can tell from the this. So if anybody knows. Uh, take a guess because I really don't know uh, so yeah there's the new RAM uh, yeah there's the power supply and yeah so there you go I think the yeah the lights blinking right there oh no that's for the Ethernet never mind. never mind so yeah let me go ahead and fix the camera up again and pull it back put it like that put it like that okay so yeah manly once again thank you for sending me the RAM and the second hard drive module for my uh, oops 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 that's not good uh, second RAM module for my D600 oh sweet he sent me a uh, a wireless LAN card too so that's cool I'm not sure for which model this is but uh yeah so that's pretty sweet I have an extra wireless card if I ever need it which will be cool I know that sounded really gay <laughs> but uh yeah the upgrade is complete I got a bunch of free stuff again from a fellow YouTube user so that's pretty cool put my E6400 back where it is we'll go ahead and fire this bad boy up does that monitor look straight to you guys <laughs> I know I'm so OCD it's not even funny so uh yeah that's fine let's go and power up bam Dell. Yes, Dell, my favorite company. Okay. The amount of system memory has changed. Yes. I know. Alright, we're booting into Windows 7. I got no error messages, thus meaning that it did detect the memory correctly. We now have 3 gigabytes of RAM, which is awesome. I probably won't need to do any more RAM upgrades to this thing for quite a while um, yeah so wow that was fast <laughs> that was a little bit faster than it was I, I noticed this too because I boot this thing up and I wait like a minute for it to boot up that was pretty quick so that's pretty cool 
We're going to go ahead and log into Windows 7. I'll show you this, uh, the whatchamacallit, the RAM. And uh, we'll end this video because it's already at 10 minutes, which is, you know, pretty long. The monitor doesn't look really straight, but I'll gauge it after I'm done. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Properties. Still booting up, but I really don't care. There we go. We now have three gigs of RAM. Hell yeah. Oops. So yeah, as you can see right there, it says three gigabytes of RAM. And it's on, all now running at 667 megahertz. So yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. And, you know, nothing's better than free. So, yeah, I'm going to upgrade the score. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of this video. That was the Dell Optiplex GX620 RAM upgrade. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys there.